Today is going to be a controversial one. We are going to add polar bears. If you want to know why, what my reasoning is and why I think it's a very good idea, stick with me. We are going to discuss it today's episode. So let's have fun and get started. All right, now today we are going to add the polar bears. In fact, it's not really completely right because we are only setting the ground for it. Now, before I start talking about this in today's video um, and setting the ground for it, I will quickly give you an idea of how the next episodes will be. So first of all, today's episode will be a planning episode in which I'm going to talk you through my entire process of thinking behind it. I took a little bit of time. I really went through all of your comments and made up my mind. I did a bit of research and I came up with a good idea, I guess. Um, and this will be happening in today's episode. Then there will be a one of time lapse in which I'm going to make the habitat. So there is no chance I can fit this into a reasonable real time episode. So you're getting a proper speed build. This will not be labeled under the franchise mode. It's going to be a one off Aqualand speed build. And then we will continue in the next episode of franchise, which I have no idea when exactly that's going to be. Um, but this will be then eventually the episode in which we will bring in the polar bears or let's say not bring in, but like make everything right and, you know, get things started. So, um, couple of things we have to talk about first of all. So um, we are going to get rid of some of the trees here because this is eventually going to be that area. Now, as promised, I will go back into some of the comments you guys have said. Now we'll start with the most obvious uh, thing to say. I think it was exactly 50-50. There was one half of you guys out there who were 100% pro polar bears and um, there was the other half which was 100% against it. There is really, really hard to find a common ground and I'm quite obviously um, very much aware of why that is. That said, um, I still found a way of doing it that hopefully is going to please both sides in a way um, and you will you will learn in a bit to why. Now this is the area we are covering and we're not only covering this area we are covering this entire area. The idea behind this is that many zoos in this world including Germany which is currently housing 30 polar bears in 13 different zoos is having a significant issue because most of them, if not all, do not apply to the ADA rules, um, the newest ones, or AZA, I should say, by the way, not ADA, um, AZA rules, which, for those of you who don't know, these are the rules of the uh, Worldwide Zoo Association that uh, do focus more and more on conservation, um, and they update the requirements of certain areas for animals every now and then, um, making sure that, you know, uh, animals are treated in the best way, well, possible in a zoo, I should add, as a little... Uh, you know, extra to it. This means also that there is a huge, huge difference between the zoos when it comes to the size given to them, the space given to them, and just in general, the overall approach to how they handle that. Most of these zoos, and I'm sticking with the example of Germany, most of these zoos have grown over decades and decades and decades. So when they actually began, there was never an idea about if this is a good idea or not to have them in. It was solely meant for entertaining purposes. So unfortunately, exactly how many of the critics say. Now, this also means in a way that we we have a hard time arguing that there is a good idea, uh, that this is a good idea to have polar bears in a zoo in the first place. Now, the thing is, we have a problem and that is we have quite a couple of polar bears existing in zoos, including a lot of babies, including still breeding programs across the globe. Um, and this is a problem because we have many, many polar bears in zoos that don't really fit there because the zoos don't really have anything to give to them. And this is what I want to change over here. This is more or less going to be a polar bear rescue area. And by rescue, I exactly mean what I just was talking about, rescuing them from actual zoos rather than from the wild because well there is a problem with the definition of rescuing them from the wild. I mean if they're poached then yes but in general the, the, the major idea about this is to rescue them from zoos where they just simply do not belong. Um, 
how we are going to do this, how we are going to do this. So the idea I had in mind is that we only have a relatively small viewable area in the foreground here. And then we're going to have a tour. And this is something I really debated myself with quite a lot of times and I just didn't know exactly how to do this. But this is going to be just a very tiny space in which you can see a polar bear eventually. That means there is no force behind that to bring it here to make sure that it is here. But it is going to be um, kind of a little bit of an educational area in which you can show them if they are around. Um, if not, you can still go on a tour and see them in a relatively um, open space. And I also did a lot of research about how we could deal with one of the biggest issues that we will come across. And this is something we are going to do in today's video. Now, the first thing is I'm going to quickly outline what is going to happen. Now, we are going to take this building real quick because that is going to be the entrance to our area. I found this a quite nice building anyways and I thought you know if we are going to repurpose that why not into a certain polar bear area you know just educational area why not I think it is still a good idea to do it and I still believe that this can be something of value for us um, but nevertheless I'm just going to quickly do the entrance here just to kind of, you know, get a get a good idea of what I want to have as a layout. And then I'm going to do one specific thing that we all need to focus on. Also, can I have these quickly? Are they not in the same group? Oh, they, wait, no, this one is not. Okay, why why isn't that in a group? Huh? I'm confused. Why is these not in a group? Oh no, this is in a group. Can I, can I just copy that over? Yes. And then just turn around and plop it in. Ah, okay, this is why. This is why, okay, so I moved that out. Why did I actually do this? Is this like one? Okay, I, I, I don't really get this. Okay, so the building has to be moved quite in here. Is that now still correct? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, whatever. Um, I didn't want to lose track too much, but let me just quickly go in and put some iron guiders in here. Uh, simply because I need to um, make sure that this is already kind of the idea I want to have. And then we have to talk about a couple of things, how we are going to realize this entire thing. Because there are still more topics we have to talk about. So uh, it's not only that we have a polar bear exhibit that has a lot of space. This is one thing to achieve. But there is also the problem of energy. Um, and food and uh, well even hunting you know and uh, this is this is something I read into quite a bit so what would be needed to do a somewhat proper polar bear exhibit if you will um, and that said is please take that as an approach to a game nevertheless I still believe that it would be better uh, to have at least one zoo that doesn't actively get new polar bears from the wild, uh, please not, oh god no, but um, actually can take polar bears from other zoos to make them live in a good area. Now, uh, you you might have already had a thought in your mind, but hey Rudy, you know, you stupid idiot, you build like a crazy habitat, but this will be only for one, right? Yes and no. So um, there are a couple of ideas I have in mind how to make this multifunctioning. And this is also where the front area comes into play. So um, it's going to be a very funny and, and interesting way of dealing with the entrance to that educational area. Because I exactly had that in mind, um, that we need a certain way of separating different species or like uh, different specimens, like really making sure that they have a certain area to roam in and just, just live in. Um, but then again, that they can't meet in this uh, open area in the beginning or in the front here. Um, so next thing I got to do, and I, I mean, I can put that on later, but what I need to do first of all is I got to build, why is the blueprint section on all the time? I need this biggest, biggest one here and just quickly make that biggest circle available simply because we will need this. And I think, ah uh, oh yeah, still that doesn't fit in the middle. I still don't get this, why Frontier decided to do something weird like this, but okay, just got to get this. Uh, done anyways and just plop that in here making sure it all looks good and then we can just pop that one in the middle um, I'm just gonna make like a building out of that one real quick 
Now, this is just, as I said, this is just setting the ground today. We are not going to have like a proper polar bear um, finished habitat today. <laughs> Don't you worry. This is by, I mean, if I would do this, this would be like a four to six hour live stream maybe. Oh, by the way, on the topic of live streams, if you guys are interested, I have some updates on that as well in today's video. A bit later, maybe in five to six minutes, we can uh, actually talk about that because there are some good news um, and maybe some less good news, but uh, they are just like organizational. Um, so nothing, nothing to worry about actually, but you know, a um, couple of things we need to talk about. So uh, what I'm doing over here is I'm just going to build a certain, why is that? This is so weird. Why is it jumping between colors? This is this is most likely not the color I was in. Uh-huh. Okay. That makes sense. Is that a bug actually? I now learn from your comments that the escape key is not my escape key, but it's actually a bug, so Okay, well, I, I don't know why this happened. Anyway, so this is the big educational area in which people will be accessing this. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to keep that coming in. And now we have to bring all... Oh, wait, this is not... Why is that not all of it? Eh, I don't get it. Just like so, get rid of... Oh, this was one building. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to have to move this one down just ever so slightly above ground noise and what we're also going to do real quick is just gonna get the the sand around here just making sure that yeah blah 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 it's gonna look it's gonna look better in the end anyway so yeah there you go so this is the entrance again as i said to this area oh look at that we can just grab some of these and uh make them plop in here there you go and i'm just going to delete some of these, you know, I just, this, I like this. This could be some educational stuff already. So I'm gonna keep that here. So this is that. Now, this is very nice. And what we're also going to do is we're just going to go to facilities. That's going to be the first time ever I'm going to have a transport ride in one of my areas here. And I, struggled and you guys can still comment down below and I need you to comment which of the transport rides we use. For me personally there are only two options that being the transport ride uh, adventure tour or the monorail. The only thing I fear with the monorail is that it might look a little bit too modern. On the other hand I'm having a hard time figuring out how this thing would work anyways because this might actually get too close to the polar bear in our idea so what i'm going to start with is the monorail which is going to be here as an elevated station which is going to look kind of cool um so this is going to start over here i'm not going to do anything else with this thing just now it's going to keep keep the position so to say and we're going to have a rather big water tank section over here which is going to be um focused obviously on some uh, diving for the polar bear which is going to be a very neat eye catcher i believe so this is why i'm going to delete this and we are going to make a uh, let me just copy these out of here and then just select these split from the group we're gonna have to have 45 degrees there you go and one, once we've done that let me just quickly check the clock there you go i'm just gonna try to aim for like 25 minutes at max for today's video uh, because it's again it's just like preparation stuff and so on uh so nothing maybe too crazy for you guys um but i i really i really want to get this done uh, this is a is that a is that a let me just, okay, it's it's not, okay. I was just thinking if that is the the actual um, free piece or is that a grid piece, but it actually is the grid piece. So I'm gonna have to say rustic, there you go. This is it. I was thinking it was maybe this, but it's too small, so it's not. Uh, let me just, hello, hello, I need, I need this. I need, hello, hello, there you go. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this down. Yeah, that is, that is a fine degree. I'm just gonna keep it here before we put the path here anyways, but I'm just gonna bring this down, 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 down. And now let's bring all this stuff in here. There you go. This is just making sure that we have like a nice little edge here and what I need to do as well. Oops, oh, let me just bring this all the way down. Intensity is fine. And just click that down here um, and I'm also just going to see where the perfect height is I think that is a good height as well now that's nice and now what I need to do here as well is just go all the way not too close because I just want to make sure that 
yeah we can push them back if needed a little bit and just gonna go intensity all the way down so we can just push it back ever so slightly there you go like so and now I'm just going to put the path on top here uh, because I want it to be oh, there you go I think that's perfectly fine and uh, no nope, please go straight and then we can bring that back down here yeah again I will I will make that look a lot better uh, at the end but for the moment being I'm just going to put these path connected like so that's all I needed over here and then I'm just going to flatten all that terrain needed here as well just making sure that this is all good there you go this is still where the education stuff is going so this is going to be when the staircase is going to lead up to a viewing platform that is going to have of, offer you an educational view I'm, I'm really going to work with the tower here and a facility in the middle but uh, just to just to give you a a glimpse of what is getting uh, to happen here and um, let me just bring this back like so great stuff I'm just going to put a very 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 simple um, you know uh, tank in here I'm gonna call it tank it's going to be a tank, so yeah. So let me just bring this down. This is already going to be a proper fence. And then, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep that like so. Uh, this is going to be perfect because that's the height we are going for. And then let me just see. Um, I want this to be roundish, so I'm just going to get this all the way cranked up and then like so and all the way around here as well and then connect awesome okay so what we're going to do real quick is we're just going to bring everything to a certain height i guess i can't because the game just w won't let me uh, okay well then let's try that again and say select all and there you go okay let's move it all up move it up move it up move it move it move it up okay so this is just for the testing reasons and this is the highest we can get. Oh, because I... Okay. I think I would need to bring this all up even higher. Is that correct? To bring the water once... Yeah, there you go. This is the height we need. Making this thing... Like, this is also why I made this. So it doesn't appear... It doesn't appear... Oh my god, my English broken. Um, it doesn't appear, like, gigantic. And also, we are not uh, as close as uh, we were before to the water. So we can actually lower it down fairly simple. And now the same hopefully goes for the back side here as well. Let's bring it all down. Yeah, that works. That works pretty fine. And then these two, two. These two, two. There you go. This is somewhat the height. Let's bring that one down as well. And then I think it should be fine if we just lower that middle pillar. If it'll let us, it'll, well, it won't let us. Oh, because the ground is not. Okay, right. I mean, I mean, fair enough. Just, just stay there, you know. It tells me one meter. It doesn't make any sense because that's okay. Not sure f from where it takes that one meter because that's certainly not one meter. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. So we're gonna make this that like so. We put this open, and um, you know what we could do already, just for the sake of doing it real quick. What does the timer say? 18 minutes. Okay. Well then, then let's skip that because <laughs> because we are doing one more thing now um, and this is going to be one thing I wanted to quickly talk about it's nothing it's nothing crazy but it's something really really important and I'm going to use I'm going to use a combination of this rustic wall and then we're going to go to metal I'm not sure what kind of wall I'm going to use I think I'm just really going to no that's not a grid version where's the grid there you go the grid version maybe the smaller one yeah, well, whatever, whatever. Um, it's in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't make too much sense. There you go to uh, make it super detailed. So I'm just going to have something like this. Gosh, this is one of the most ugly pieces in the game. I'm not. I'm not going to lie if I say I, I really don't like this wall. I I don't know. This, this is maybe the the one wall. I I really don't know what Frontier wanted to do with this. Uh, this is. Pfft. I, I don't see any corrugated metal with it, but it, it suits this specific case I'm making here, so don't worry. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna uh, say metal, and there's also like, let me see if I can, yeah, this is what I needed. There you go, just bring that to into the position here. 
I like the blue. The blue is fine. And then we are just going to pop this in and again. And what we will need, and I'm not sure if this is going to keep this exact way, but we will need a cooler, which is going to be attached to this thing eventually. There you go. Um, so the cooler is going to be attached to this thing and rotate it a little bit. So there you go to make it a tiny bit more uh, rudilistic. And um, if you don't know what rudilistic means, I talked about this expression in one of my latest videos. So make sure to jump over. It got no power, whatever. Um, so this is that thing. But now there's one major thing we have to consider. And this is how the hell would in a zoo like this, we'll be able to create proper energy heating and stuff. And this is where my idea comes into play. Just going to bring this over to this side. Not sure if this is gonna, gonna be enough any house, but we're going to use a certain planter and I hope I'm going to find the right, it's not called that way. Why is it not, wait, plant, is it plant? There you go, okay, it's called planted wood, my God, <laughs> why? Uh, so there you go. Uh, it almost should act like a moss type of thing on top of it, but it's obviously going to be uh, just that. So this kind of has a cooling effect to it. Um, and then what we're going to do real quick is we're just going to build a certain iron railing here. There you go. This is going to be painted in a certain... Well, greener greenish tone that it just somehow merges a bit better into that area well that should be fine and then let's do this like so and have these things go down and there you go one and two and we have to say glass and we do have the emissive I'm not sure if the emissive, no, we have another one which I wanted to use. This is the, there you go, the one-sided panel. This is that one. And I'm gonna say, this is the blank side. This is the proper side. We're going to make that blue. Blue, da ba dee da ba -dee. I think I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, that's, that's the better one. I mean, you can ob obviously, hopefully already see where this is going. Just going to bring that here and then we say again metal and there is this wonderful rod we have over here where is it by the way there you go this is the one i needed there you go this is the perfect one let's do this and that and bring it over here and to the other side and if i'm not doing my job wrong now i should be able to do something really cool 45 degrees, is that, 40? I think it's not quite. There you go, this is 45 degrees. Let's sink that in a little bit more. So the bow's looking somewhat similar. That looks good to me. Oops, there you go. And now we're just gonna bring them down here. I think that looks fairly decent to me. Yeah, let's do it that way. And then we're just going to bring them around the world around the world axis <laughs> which are not anyways there you go and we bring this down here to the exact point where we needed it so one uh, two i think sometimes they have something like that so i'm i'm quite happy with this now well, let's do it that way that way and that way awesome Okay, so that is a proper solar panel, as you can tell. Uh, and let's make that even thinner. There you go, double trouble. And now we're going to put this thing on top here. I think now I should be able to, yeah, there you go. Now, um, the sun obviously is coming from that direction. So <laughs> I should probably, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to align this anyways, but for now, this would have made a lot more sense. I'm gonna put this here and the other one goes to this side so they won't block each other because we will need quite a bit of energy, right? So this is going to be one of our major points of interest when it comes to how to create that entire area. Now, uh, this is it for today's episode. Taking the ground, you know what's gonna happen. So just maybe as for an idea. Um, so just making sure that this is going to be the 
the entrance and educational area, not more, not less, and then this entire area is going to be the polar bear rescue station. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the idea. Now, go nuts in the comments, help me, the algorithm, but most of all the discussion, what do you think about this idea? And please let me also know if you have any tips or tricks or whatever, what we could do to make it even more conservational um, and making sure that they are somewhat treated well let me know in the comments down below as well if you've got any techniques how to do proper cooling and stuff if there's anything else you would recommend uh, let me know in the comments down below and hopefully you guys come up with good ideas as you always do and as promised the last update on my live streaming I saw your replies, I saw your, uh, your your ideas where to stream on Twitter and on YouTube and I'm going to do a little test for, I tried to do it for four weeks straight to see how it's going, um, of a stream on YouTube once a week and Twitch once a week. I'm going to announce the exact times but um, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be really cool, I have some cool ideas what to do and um, yeah, stay tuned for that. But now, thank you so much as always for watching. You guys rock. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. If you haven't subscribed already and uh, you, you find this stuff very good and helpful, interesting or whatnot and it doesn't entertain you, please consider subscribing if you haven't done already because many of you guys keep watching but you're not subscribed, which uh, I totally understand from my point of view because I have so many channels I never understood why I'm not following because YouTube doesn't tell me that I'm not. So yeah, please check if you haven't already. That would help me out so, so much to reach my target. But now enough said, I wish all of you a very, very wonderful day and uh, stay safe everyone. Now, that's it. Goodbye. See you next time.